Bienvenida, bienvenido, soy Marcos Raya Delgado para dibujarbien.com, tu web de dibujo favorita. Bueno, voy a ser muy rápido porque tengo muchas cosas que decirte y quiero dejarte con la entrevista lo antes posible. Vale, he ido a la THU, que es la Trojan Horse Wasa Unicorn, los mejores artistas del mundo, en un sitio muy pequeñito durante una semana. Una pasada, te recomiendo que vayas. Una maravilla personal, yo ya van cuatro años que voy y este año voy a hacerte unos vídeos explicándote un poco mis experiencias allí. Este es el primero, donde me han hecho una entrevista en directo y en inglés, así que te pido disculpas porque no hablo inglés como para ser tan fluido como hablando español o castellano, pero uh, sí que te recomiendo que si te interesa dedicarte a este mundo, aprendas a hablar inglés, al menos a entenderlo y comunicarte lo básico, ¿de acuerdo? Es imprescindible ya que el idioma vehicular de esta industria es este, el inglés. Otra cosita más, uh, la THU TV, esto es importante. Si no puedes eh, permitirte lo que cuesta la entrada, más el viaje, más el alojamiento de este tipo de eventos, y este te lo recomiendo encarecidamente, existe la posibilidad, y en breve estará disponible, de la THU TV, donde puedes comprar prácticamente el acceso a todas las charlas que hay de los mejores artistas del mundo. Así que... Uh, ahí está. Te iré informando, así que no te preocupes. Y en sucesivas semanas habrá también contenido donde te explico mi experiencia personal y alguna que otra entrevista, por ejemplo, a Daniel Oribe, un artista español que está trabajando en Riot, uh, diseñando personajes. Así que mm, estate atento, no te lo pierdas. Otra noticia importante, una actualización para el tutorial de perspectiva. El vídeo que estás viendo o verás ahora mientras... Uh, se ve la entrevista, forma parte de una actualización importante para este tutorial, donde además de ver cómo se utiliza la perspectiva, herramienta que considero imprescindible, imprescindible, imprescindible para aprender a dibujar la perspectiva, así que o, o mi tutorial o libros o un profe o lo que sea, pero aprende perspectiva por Dios, por favor, porque es imperativo. O sea, no puedes no saber perspectiva si quieres dibujar bien, ¿vale? Así que por eso hice este tutorial, para que sea fácil entenderla, porque he sintetizado todo lo que sé, todos los libros que tengo y todo lo que he aprendido dando clase para que aprendas esta herramienta que es imprescindible, imprescindible. ¿Vale? Entonces, recibe una actualización, así que si ya tienes el tutorial, bueno, pues sencillamente ve, busca el link uh, del correo cuando compraste el tutorial y accede al contenido extra y si no ve a mi web y accede a un link con un pequeño descuentillo para que te sea un poco más accesible hacerte con él ya que considero que es muy importante que sepas manejar esta herramienta. Última cosa importante, Patreon. Patreon. ¿De acuerdo? Voy a empezar a utilizar este sistema de, uh, bueno, de ayuda para que me puedas echar una mano a generar más y mejor contenido. Quiero llegar a, a ponerme en un ritmo de hacer un tutorial al mes, así que para eso voy a necesitar tu apoyo. Estate atento porque en un mes empezaré la campaña, pero quiero avisarte ya con tiempo para que vayas animándote a a ayudarme el primer eh, tutorial seguramente o casi con total seguridad irá relacionado con el tema de dibujar manos que es algo que cuesta mucho dibujar las manitas y uh, no solo dibujarlas y aprender a, a saber cómo es la estructura de una mano sino te voy a enseñar un poquito de lenguaje corporal para que cuando dibujes las manos de tus personajes estas tengan un significado y les des una capa de profundidad a esos diseños que haces, ¿de acuerdo? Así que sin más, muchas gracias por eh, tu apoyo, muchas gracias por estar ahí y disfruta de la entrevista. Y disculpa mi inglés un poco eh, neandertalis. ¡Chao, chao! Hello and welcome back to THU TV from beautiful, sunny... 
gorgeous Troia here in Portugal. Um, I'm uh, joined here by Marcos, who is running a site that's helping people to do drawing tutorials. And I'm going to talk to him about um, how the business and the education piece fit together. And I'm super excited about that. So Marcus, uh, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about um, your career so far? What have you been up to and how did we end up here? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. First of all, thank you very much for this interview. Absolutely. And this opportunity is, is, is quite nice to be here in, in THU. It's amazing that, that stuff that you do every year. So thank you very much for, it, awesome. for this. So uh, I've been in the in the game in the video game industry like for six years, like uh, as a concept artist, and also then uh, I've been like four years until now, being a teacher, drawing teacher, mm -hmm. and I found a, a website where I teach how to draw in Spanish because in in Spanish there are any very good resources about how to start to get in the, into the, this industry. Right. So the website is... How do you is, draw in Spanish? Yeah, you well... Is it a Spanish pen? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, uh, in English, there are a lot of good resources, mm -hmm. but there's people like, they don't know how to, how to uh, speak in English. So I get that uh, weakness of the situation, mm -hmm. and I make it my, my, my trick, speaking in Spanish and uh, teaching them how to how to draw. Also, what's the difference between a good and a bad tutorial? Wow, that's a very tricky question. If uh, you know, if if you you are able, or you you can teach. Um, so you do, you know something when you can uh, show it to your grandma mm -hmm. and she understand that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep. Uh, that as that simple to if I talk to my grandmother so you have to do that then that that she would understand that so, so it's uh, breaking it down to the steps and yeah, explaining yeah. each way, yeah, 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 yeah. way well you have to fit in different levels of difficulties but if you are doing like a beginner tutorial you have to be very clear because if if those, if you don't do that, you lose them into the basis, uh, into the basis. So that's the worst thing. And so, how does that work for from your point of view? Obviously, it went from a passion project and is now a business. Mm -hmm. um, has that been has that been interesting? Because I believe you mentioned before we started interviewing um, mm -hmm. that you are an artist at heart, right? And so mm -hmm. you had to learn all these new skills around how to build a website, how to edit video, how to yeah. actually how to be a teacher. I guess maybe that comes natural to you, but yeah. um, and all these bits that you had to learn to kind of pull together. Mm -hmm. uh, was the business side easy or is that something you've had to learn as well? Well, yeah, that's a hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a hell. Because if you are like, if you have a very, very um, artist mindset, then it's so difficult to be a businessman, change to the business man, mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be... As much you, as much heart you have, you are worst businessman. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a very it's like a negotiation with yourself right. and try. For example, I, I started to give everything for free mm -hmm. and contact the very big uh, companies and make them pay me money to like talk construct. about yeah like right. like the big ones in mm -hmm. software and hardware and okay you have the money, I have the knowledge pay me and I, I talk about your product uh, and that stuff but in that point I was like too little mm -hmm. and in Spanish so I didn't get the support so I, I, I should I should have to start to sell the and was with pain because it's like I think that the um, cult, cult, culture and knowledge should to be free. Mm -hmm. But then there is a, a point which is the free stuff that you give. There's not uh, the people usually they don't take with a they don't give them a value mm -hmm. the free stuff you know because it's like oh it's free right it's uh, it's a tricky situation and it's very hard would it be possible to for you to find a freelancer to take some of the stuff off your plate can you repeat please um is it possible to for you to find a freelancer who can help mm -hmm. you with the business side 
with maybe the editing or the yeah. so you don't also, have to yeah also i have a guy with oh, yeah. which was my one of the my first pupils mm -hmm. which is which is with me helping like almost three years but a um, short amount of hours mm -hmm. and yeah with this that situation he's becoming better and better with that help mm -hmm. and also he is an artist so he starts to uh, teach how to do the 3d side because cool. because he's very good doing 3d it's Miguel Zotes mm -hmm. and uh, thanks of that situation I will have more time to improve my drawing skills so yeah 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 awesome yeah, yeah I mean that's a really important thing though I mean with with any business right you, you run into roadblocks and you feel that there are things happening where you go there eh, something isn't working yeah. right and as I said I think in one of these other interviews I did as sometimes there is something that you just cannot get good at right yeah for me for example I'm terrible at sales If I do my best, I'm out of a, out of a skill from zero to, to ten, and maybe a three. Yeah, that's my best. I, I can't ever be better than a three because I, I hate doing it. I don't yeah. don't like it. I don't want to get better at it. I just whenever I sit down, I do, it's horrible, right? Yeah. But somebody who's really really good at it, they don't even have to try that hard, and they can be a seven. Yeah, right. They go, ah, I can do this. Pick up the phone, talk to people. I'm like. Oh, that's horrible. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like that is one of the most important things you will learn in business, right? Yeah. Is finding people who uh, who kind of round out what you need in the business, yeah. that stuff you're not that good at. So you found your one partner who's also starting yeah. to do the 3D tutorials. Um, and those are really powerful partnerships and yeah. really powerful yeah. things because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think for the longest time I made the mistake of thinking me doing something for an hour is the same as somebody else doing something for an hour. Yeah. But that is bullshit, right? I, no. I, I couldn't draw to save my life. If I wanted something drawing, yeah. I could spend 10 hours, I couldn't get it good, or I could give you a pen and pencil and you'd be five minutes, be like, shh. Yeah, that's right. right. And I think it's uh, playing to those skill sets is a really important part of Actually, not even that. Learning how to trust other people. Yeah, that's that's that. the point. Because sometimes you think always that I, I could do it better, mm -hmm. but you have to do it. Right. It's, if you want, if you have to delegate, you have to trust in people. And okay, maybe it's not me doing that. Yeah. But I can be doing another other thing which which is more useful, yeah. and I will enjoy more. Yeah. So, or even if it doesn't get as good as you would have done it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I, it'll be instead of a, a five, it'll be a four. But it means I get three hours of drawing. Yeah, we we used to you, we usually make that mistake, uh, searching the perfection. Mm -hmm. Point one: art is not perfection. Then. Perfection, it doesn't exist. And point three, perfection uh, is is not um, in Spanish it's rentable. So it's like there's no profitable right. in in economic terms. Right. Because you you don't you don't uh, finish ever right. your tax because it's not perfect. Good is okay. Yeah. Well, and that's then the thing, right? Thing. It takes you 10 hours to get to 90%, and yeah. it takes another 10 hours to get to 100%. Yeah. And if 90% is good enough, then save your time. Yeah, another, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. I think that's true for a lot of things. That's true for a lot of things yeah. in business. That's true for a lot of things in art. Those, um, those four years doing that business, I, I learned more in four years than in my entire life because there are a lot of concepts because I, I get a lot of struggles doing that because it's, sometimes there are something that I don't like but I, I, I have to do it or learn how to trust others mm -hmm. to okay do that and keep moving it and it's like um, you, you have to be passionate If you lose your your passion, you lose the people who is looking at you, and and they you lose the credibility. Yeah. So it's. So I looked at this, uh, I looked at a few of your uh, free videos, and you do have a lot of energy and a lot of obvious passion, right? Yeah, yeah. And my Spanish isn't good enough to fully understand, wow. but I feel like you're really good at actually bringing that excitement to it, right? Yeah. There's. I think to me that is the difference between a good and a bad tutorial. It's like yeah. even if you break down the steps, if you're able to bring the the excitement and the like, you know, yeah. I, I realize that what you were telling me about is something you really enjoy, 
which makes yeah. such a difference because ultimately if it looks boring why would I want to do it yeah that's the point <laughs> right the, the people doesn't em empathize em empathize mm -hmm. empathize 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 yeah. empathize thank you with you if you if you are like well hello we are going to soon it's like you, yeah. you lose them I have a pen yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah completely That's awesome. So what is next? What do you have to do to make your business 10 times more successful? Well, that's, that's a good point. Right. Um, well, I'm just now, I'm looking those answers. Mm -hmm. I made a list with a few um, possible solutions. One of them is uh, if you want to... Uh, for example, if we speak uh, spoke about the salary, mm -hmm. you want to make it uh, twice times mm -hmm. better. You maybe you have to you be twice times with your clients. And now my clients are the people who follows me. Mm -hmm. So maybe I have to do more videos or do uh, like that uh, a live a live session, but drawing and talking with them. So that's one of the solutions. Another is to start to uh, inviting other artists who speak in Spanish to show their art mm -hmm. and they can sell them then uh, their tutorials in my website. Yeah. And have some benefit of those four or five years of working in having a place to join all the Spanish people who is interested in, yeah, in, sure. in doing art. Or guests, right? Yeah. Try and, like, yeah, at yeah. events like this, try and get people together, shoot yeah. a video yeah, with yeah. more than one person, and especially if they have a social media following, it's possible to actually piggyback on that and all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So w those are oh, uh, some of uh, the ideas that I had. If if there is anyone listen that and has a better one, <laughs> you're listening. So I mean, you know, <laughs> feel free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, that's so fun. Um, what do you think is um, what do you think is holding you back? So you clearly have a list of ten yeah. things you need to do to grow it ten times. Mm -hmm. What is stopping you from from the, being able to make that happen. I'm doing that is a video right now. Right. <laughs> so when I arrive to when when I arrive to Mallorca, I will I will start to make those changes and try to push the project further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more more big bigger than what it is now. Is this your full-time job? Is that your only source of income? Yeah, sometimes I do some freelance. Okay. But I think that as an artist, it's uh, it's very important have something to support you, mm -hmm. have your own project, because I cannot hire me, I cannot uh, fire me too. I'm with me all right. the time, so it's, if my project uh, keeps me alive, yeah. Uh, well, I can get some time to be better artist and get better jobs. It's a very uh, a nice sentence that um, Craig Mullin says two years ago, I mm -hmm. think is here, mm -hmm. is one of the best responsibilities that an, uh, an artist has is be uh, care about their money. Because if you have enough money to say no right. to any project, you can use this time to improve and get better jobs. So that's very, 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 but well, that's very clever, uh, our wisdom quote to have in mind. No, for sure. I always saw that as a, as a thing, because I, I used to work as a photographer, and I, well, I used to take a lot of photos and uh -huh. I loved it, and then I became a freelance photographer. Oh, cool. And I discovered I hated it. Why? Because other people were telling me what to take photos of oh. and when to take photos. And yeah. it turns out, you know, if you're doing something for money and you're doing it when somebody tells you to do and what they want you to do, that felt an awful lot like prostitution. Yeah. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, I'm not sure I like this. I like yeah. it when there's a lot more freedom and a lot more kind of space to do that. Anyway, I think that is actually the end of our 25 minutes. No, oh, cool. This kind of thing flies by. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. It was really good to talk you, to you. Please. Yeah, yeah. Thank um, you. And right now here on THU TV, we've got a really exciting treat for you guys. ¿Qué? ¿Te ha parecido mi inglés? ¿Eh? Bueno. Ha sido un gustazo eh, que estés viendo toda esa entrevista, 
Muchas gracias por tu apoyo, gracias por dibujar bien y ahora no olvides visitar mi web, suscribirte y suscribirte a mi canal de YouTube, dibujarbien.com. ¡Oh yeah!